Good evening. My name is Kay Dunman. I'm a lifelong resident of Greensboro. I've come to speak to you concerning the feeding of the homeless at Center City Park. Our church started reaching out to homeless over 13 years ago. One of our members and her son were riding through town and saw the homeless in the park. Her son said, let's bring them coffee one Sunday. From that, the ministry was born. We started with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and coffee. And today, many other organizations have joined with us with feeding and providing clothing, blankets, coats, and tents. My group provides a lunch bag to go and also a hot meal for breakfast. They get a sandwich, a juice, peanut butter cracker, chips, and a sweet. They choose many of their items. They say it's their favorite deli. Many of the people say the lunch could be their last meal of that day. We've built relationships with these people and we care about them. We're a stable source of food for them and love. Not long ago, a guy rode up beside me and asked if I remembered him and I did not. He said his name and that we had fed him several years ago and due to our love and feeding him, he was able to get back on his feet and he wanted to bless the people doing this and so he sent me a donation to help feed other people. We've recently heard of complaints of trash being left by us in the park. Like Barbara said, we have someone pick up the trash before we leave. If someone leaves trash after we're gone, we can't control that, just as business owners from downtown cannot control patrons leaving trash around the city from their establishments. I was leaving the Tanger Center a couple weekends ago, and when we walked out, there were water bottles, masks, and napkins on the ground as we walked out of the theater. Is Tanger going to be responsible for this? Unfortunately, some people just don't care about how our city looks, and that's not a socioeconomical thing. We serve at the park on Sunday morning around 7.30 a.m., and we're usually finished by 9 a.m. There are very few people out, and very few businesses are open, so this does not cause any interruptions in our city. The homeless issue is a very complex issue, one that needs to be addressed, especially with our current economy and the rising food and housing costs in our city and country. The, there are mental, drug, alcohol, transportation issues along with unemployment. I would like to ask how we have become so heartless as a society that we cannot show love and compassion to help other people who are struggling in life without imposing fines and requiring licenses. Proverbs 1431 says, those who oppress the poor insult their maker, but helping the poor honors them. I would just ask that you guys would come and join us at, in helping with the, this problem in Greensboro. Thank you. Um,